What's up guys, it's Nick and welcome back to Freedom Algo. Today I'm going to be talking about an indicator on TradingView called Half Trend. Now you could probably find this indicator recreated elsewhere, but if you just go into the settings and you do a quick search for Half Trend, you should find one by Everget. So that's the one here. Now there's a couple of other ones in here, but this is the one that we're going to be looking at. You can see it has some votes to it. And I'm just going to open up the settings first so that we can take a look. So this is what it looks like if your chart was white. Um, you've got these kind of long signals that are in blue and short signals that are in red. And it looks very similar to another indicator called the super trend. So let's go into this. So there, it says here it's, pop, it's a popular trend indicator based on ATR. Similar to super trend, but it uses a different trend identification logic. So um, this one, as you can see, Let's go down here. Uh, you can kind of look at the code if you want to get an idea of exactly how this works. But basically, you're going to have the amplitude and then this channel deviation. And I don't want to get too deep into this, but you can see where it comes up with the ATR. So you've got ATR2 right here, and it just kind of shows you where some of this comes from. Deviation, channel deviation times ATR2. So it shows you kind of how it's coming up with this high MA and low MA. Um, so it has an SMA for the high of the amplitude, the low amplitude. So you can kind of get an idea of, of how this works um, when you go through the different math here. But what I, why I want to show this is that it works much different than another really popular indi indicator called Supertrend. So uh, in Supertrend, there's even a built-in one from TradingView. So I'll pull up Supertrend and just kind of show them side by side. Uh, all right, so let's start with half trend. Two, two, you've got arrows and channels, and you can change some of this stuff if you want to, you know, if you want it to look more like Supertrend, you could cha change these to lines, you know, um, instead of uh, dots or whatever. But I'm just going to leave them like the, how they are. And then I'm going to go back over here. So amplitude and channel deviation. Let's hide the super trend for a second. So what I can do here is I can change this to a three. You know, change it to a four. And it starts to change the results here. So you can see, okay, here's a buy signal right there when it was on, on four. Now if I change it to a three, let's actually change it to a two. So still the buy signal in the same spot there. Buy signal here. Uh, what happened when I went to a three? There was no buy signal there. So it's a little bit different with where the buy signals come from when you start changing the amplitude. And you can see that it does change these. Let's go to a bigger time frame. Let's go to a five minute chart. So here's a five minute chart. And then what I'm going to do is just test out different amplitudes here. So you can see that it just kind of moves these around just a little bit. And then the channel deviation is going to make it wider because now instead of two standard deviations, it's going to use three, you know, Four, so I don't recommend always going super high on those. You got to be careful with that. Uh, but the amplitude, in from what I can tell, uh, with with the way that half trend works, so you don't have to learn all the math of it, is very similar to how super trend is. So with super trend, you've got ATR length and then factor. So when you're kind of using this, factor is sort of similar to the standard deviation or the channel deviation of of uh, half trend. So like if I'm on super trend and I change the factor. To, let's just change it to a four so you can really get an idea. You'll start to see that it expand, it goes, this moves, this line moves up a lot higher. If I change it to like a eight, you know, it'll move way higher even. Um, if I change it back down to a three, it's gonna move lower. If I change it to a two, it's gonna get even closer. And then of course this changed to green over here because uh, it, the way the super trend works is this candle closed above it, so now it's green until you know, another candle closes below the super trend. So anyway, and then of course the ATR length is what you're controlling super trend with. So if I change this to like a two, two, it's going to look like this. And if I open up half trend, it's going to look very similar. So you can see it's a little different. It's not exactly the same. Half trends on two, two, super trends on two, two, but they're very close. Um, you can see that they, they shift very similarly, but I find that uh, the half trend is is cool because of the way that the signals come in. So you can see here, like you get the signal a little earlier on this move. Super trend, the signal doesn't come till over here. So you have to kind of fine tune your settings. I like to use both of them. The other thing that's cool about the half trend, in my opinion, is that 
you kind of get these other like range targets. So you can see, okay, we're flat sideways and flat sideways, like right here. So it helps you kind of identify these little ranges. It just kind of gets your eyes caught onto it. So like right here, all right, we're, we're pretty sideways right here. It just makes it easy to identify that. With Super Trend, you do get some of that because it's like flat sideways here, but you might not interpret, you know, this bottom move is also just being like, hey, this is just a quick tight range or whatever. So I just find that it can make it uh, visually, it can be really useful. And then the, the, like I said, the buy and sell settings happen in different places. So check it out, try out Half Trend instead of Super Trend and see what you think. Like if you already use Super Trend on one of your strategies, test out Half Trend, see if you get better results with it. Uh, personally for me on my own strategy for scalping and trading, I typically use, uh, double super trends, but I've been experimenting a little bit more with half trend. And I actually do have half trend built into some of my algorithmic bots because I like the way that it gives signals sometimes a little bit better than super trend. So test it out and, uh, I'll talk to you soon.